be it a college roommate or some Craigslist freak, at some point in your life, you might have to get a roommate. Most of the time, they suck ass. So we're gonna ask people to describe their shittiest roommate situations in six words or less. Describe to me your shittiest roommate situation. Broke my bong onto my laptop. Uh, parents. Found him having sex on couch. Someone ate all of my edibles. Gothic witch really cared about trash cans. Was a cam girl, didn't do dishes. Made shrimp jerky on the balcony. Dirty pads, dirty dishes, and dirty tampons. How do you make shrimp like these? You don't. Hi, I'm with Vice by asking people questions about their roommate experiences. Oh my god. People are really annoying. If you don't want to talk, just don't talk. Don't be like, oh my god. I left to work, I left my wallet, I came back and he was having sex already. She used to like bang on my door really early in the morning and she was screaming usually about the bins. Like a, a box of Intamins, I was trying to hide them and they fucking ate the edibles. Do you still use that couch? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> she had lots of crystals and little stones and she, and she would do spells in her room. They thought it was like those cheap ass Intamin cookies. Oh hell no! But you know, like you know when you have an edible, like it yeah. doesn't taste like a regular cookie. No. Leaving her nasty, or her nasty stuff. You cook her. Oh, okay. Well, I need my nasty shit everywhere. <laughs> and how, so how did you confront that situation? Oh, it was on site. <laughs> <laughs> I opened my laptop and it smelled like a bong. You can't be eating my cookies. You can't be eating all my cookies, mama. You don't want to pay your rent on time. You leave a dirty shit everywhere. And I noticed my broken bong, so I put two and two together and just called her out. No, she has to go. He made it on the balcony and like had him in the little strips. Why did she do that? It was a mistake, I think. She didn't remember it the next day. Ah. I found her naked in the kitchen. Wow. Yeah. Trying to like be high and drunk sneaking into your crib when your mom wakes up and hears everything, like, you know? Do you, are you still in contact with that person? Uh, no. You can't even like get the keys out without her coming at you, just like fucking barking at you and shit. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> so all these people are lined up for the Supreme store. They're just waiting for me to ask some questions, so I'm gonna go talk to them. What's what do you want? Do you have a roommate? I'm asking people about like their craziest roommate situation. We tried to talk to people on the Supreme line, but we just got kicked out. How you get kicked out of the sidewalk? Like they don't own this block. Fuck! Where did you find this person? I was walking down the street and there was like room for rent sign, and it was like my first year living at a home. We were friends. But you don't know your friends until you live with them. Like on the internet, anonymously. So it's safe to say you're not friends anymore? No, okay. not at all. Did you learn anything from that experience? To ring the bell no matter what. <laughs> yeah, not to live with crazy women. Boundaries. Boundaries are so important. They're, they're important in life. Don't live with people you meet on the internet. And don't try to hide your edibles in an intimate box like I did. That was a really, that was a rookie move. Do you think you're the bad roommate? In this occasion, I'm, a, I'm probably the nuisance more than anything. Did you learn anything from living with this person? Live with no one. Live with no one. No. 